Dead Sea Scrolls, Tyronomy, 4Q28 Tyronomy, Language, Hebrew, Date, 250-150 BC Location, Qumran K4, Deuteronomy 23, 25 When you come into your neighbor's standing grain, then you may pluck the ears with your hand, but you shall not move a sickle to your neighbor's standing grain. Deuteronomy 24, 1 When a man takes a wife and marries her, then it shall be, if she finds no favor in his eyes, because he has found some unseemly thing in her, that he shall write her a certificate of divorce, and put it in her hand, and send her out of his house too she may go, and be another man's wife three if the latter husband hates her, and write her a certificate of divorce, and puts it in her hand, and sends her out of his house, or if the latter husband die, who took her to be his wife, for her former husband, who sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after that she is defiled, for that is abomination before Yahweh, you shall not cause the land to sin, which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance, 5 When a man takes a new wife, he shall not go out in the army, neither shall he be assigned any business, he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer his wife, whom he has taken six no man shall take the mill, or the upper millstone as a pledge, for he takes a life in pledge, 7 If a man is found stealing any of his brothers of the children of Israel, and he deals with him as a slave, or sells him, then that thief shall die, so you shall remove the evil from among you, 8 Be careful in the plague of leprosy, that you observe diligently, and do according to all that the priests the Levites teach you, as I commanded them, so you shall observe to do. Fork 2-9 Deuteronomy B. Language, Hebrew. Date, 150-75 BC Location, Qumran K4. Deuteronomy 29-25 Then men will say, because they abandoned the covenant of Yahweh, the God of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. 26 And went, and served other gods, and worshipped them, gods that they didn't know, and that he had not given to them. 28 Yahweh rooted them out of their land in anger, in wrath, and in great indignation, and thrust them into another land, as it is today. Deuteronomy 30, 3 That then Yahweh your God will release you from captivity, have compassion on you, and will return, and gather you from all the peoples where Yahweh your God has scattered you. 4 If your outcasts are in the uttermost parts of the heavens, from there Yahweh your God will gather you, and from there he will bring you back. 5 Yahweh your God will bring you into the land which your fathers possessed, and you will possess it. He will do you good, and increase your numbers more than your fathers. 6 Yahweh, your God will circumcise your heart, and the heart of your offspring, to love Yahweh your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, that you may live. 7 Yahweh your God will put all these curses on your enemies, and on those who hate you, who persecuted you. 8 You shall return, and obey Yahweh's voice, and do all his commandments which I command you today. 9 Yahweh your God will make you plenteous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your ground, and in the fruit of your livestock for good, for Yahweh will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your fathers. 10 If you will obey Yahweh your God's voice, to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of the law, if you turn to Yahweh your God with all your heart, and with all your soul. 11 For this commandment which I command you today is not too hard for you, or too distant from you. 12 It is not in heaven, that you should say, Who will go up for us to heaven, and bring it to us, and proclaim it to us, that we may do it. 13 Neither is it beyond the sea, that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us, and bring it to us, and proclaim it to us, that we may do it. 14 But the word is very near to you, in your mouth and in your heart, and in your hand, that you may do. Deuteronomy 31 9 Moses wrote this law, and delivered it to the priests the sons of Levi, who bore the ark of Yahweh's covenant, and to all the elders of Israel. 10 Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the set time of the year of release, in the Feast of Tents, 11 When all Israel has come to appear before Yahweh your God in the place which he will choose, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing 12 Assemble the people, the men and the women and the little ones, and the foreigners who are within your gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn, and fear Yahweh your God, and observe to do all the words of this law. 14 Yahweh said to Moses, Behold, your days approach that you must die. Call Joshua, and present yourselves in the tent of meeting, that I may commission him. Moses and Joshua went, and presented themselves in the tent of meeting. 15 Yahweh appeared in the tent in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over. 1. The tent's door. 16 Yahweh said to Moses, Behold, you shall sleep with your fathers. This people will rise up, and play the prostitute after the strange gods of the land, where they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. 17 Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall come on them, so that they will say in that day, 
Haven't these evils come on us, because our God is not among us? 24 When Moses had finished writing the words of this law in a book, until they were finished. 25 Moses commanded the Levites, who bore the Ark of Yahweh's covenant, saying, 26 Take this book of the law, and put it by the side of the Ark of Yahweh your God's covenant, that it may be there for a witness against you. 27 For I know your rebellion, and your stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you today, you have been rebellious against Yahweh. How much more, after my death, 28 Assemble to me all the elders of your tribes, and your judges, and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to witness against them. 29 For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn away from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will happen to you in the latter days, because you will do that, which is evil in Yahweh's sight to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. 30 Moses spoke in the ears of all the assembly of Israel the words of this song, until they were finished. Deuteronomy 32 1 Give ear, you heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words of my mouth. 2 My doctrine will drop as the rain, my speech will condense as the dew, as the misty rain on the tender grass, as the showers on the herb. 3 4 I will proclaim Yahweh's name, ascribe greatness to our God. 1 This word is explicit in the scroll but only implied in the mount. 4Q30 Deuteronomy C. Language, Hebrew, Date, 150 75 BC Location, Qumran K4, Deuteronomy 3, 25 Please let me go over and see the good land, that is beyond the Jordan, that fine mountain, and Lebanon. 26 But Yahweh was angry with me for your sakes, and didn't listen to me. Yahweh said to me, Let this satisfy you. Speak no more to me of this matter. Deuteronomy 4, 13 He declared to you his covenant which he commanded you to perform, even the Ten Commandments. He wrote them on two stone tablets. 14 Yahweh commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and ordinances, that you might do them in the land where you go over the Jordan to possess it. 15 Be very careful, for you saw no kind of form on the day that Yahweh spoke to you in Horeb out of the middle of the fire. 16 Lest you corrupt yourselves, and make yourself a carved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female. 17 The likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged bird, that flies in the sky. 31 For Yahweh your God is a merciful God. He will not fail you, neither destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. 32 For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that God created man on the earth, and from the one end of the sky to the other, whether there has been anything as this great thing is, or has been heard like it. Deuteronomy 7, 3 You shall not make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to his son, nor shall you take his daughter for your son. 4-4 four, four, He will turn away your son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So Yahweh your God's anger would be kindled against you, and he would destroy you quickly. Deuteronomy 8 1 You shall observe to do all the commandments which I command you today, that you may live, and multiply, and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers. 2 You shall remember all the way which Yahweh your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, to prove you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments, or not. 3 He humbled you and allowed you to be hungry, and fed you with manna, which you didn't know, neither did your fathers know, that he might teach you that man does not live by bread only, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth, for your clothing didn't grow old on you, neither did your foot swell. These forty years five you shall consider in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so Yahweh your God disciplines you. Deuteronomy 9, 11 It came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights, that Yahweh gave me the two stone tablets, even the tablets of the covenant twelve Yahweh said to me, Arise, get down quickly from here, for your people, whom you have brought out of Egypt have corrupted themselves, they have quickly turned away from the way which I commanded them, they have made a molten image for themselves, seventeen I took hold of the two tablets, and threw them out of my two hands, and broke them before your eyes, eighteen I fell down before Yahweh, as at the first forty days and forty nights, I neither ate bread nor drank water, because of all your sin which you sinned, in doing that which was evil in Yahweh's sight, to provoke him to anger. 19 For I was afraid of the anger, and hot displeasure with which Yahweh was angry against you to destroy you. But Yahweh listened to me that time also. 29 Yet they are your people and your inheritance, which you brought out by your great power, and by your outstretched arm. Deuteronomy 10 1 At that time Yahweh said to me, Cut two stone tablets like the first, and come up to me onto the mountain, and make an ark of wood. 2 I will write on the tablets the words of Yahweh, that were on the first tablets, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. 5 I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tablets in the ark which I had made, and there they are as Yahweh commanded me. 6 The children of Israel traveled from Beeroth ben Ayakin to Mosera. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his place. 7 From there they traveled to Gajoda, 
and from Gudjoda to Jotbatha, a land of brooks of water aid at that time Yahweh set apart the tribe of Levi, to bear the ark of Yahweh's covenant, to stand before Yahweh to minister, to him, and to bless in his name to this day. Deuteronomy 11, 3 His signs, and his works, which he did in the middle of Egypt to Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and to all his land, 9 And that you may prolong your days in the land, which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give to them and to their offspring, a land flowing with milk and honey, 10 For the land, where you go in to possess, isn't like the land of Egypt that you came out of, where you sowed your seed, and watered it with your foot, as a garden of herbs. 11 But the land, where you go over to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of the sky, twelve a land which Yahweh your God cares for, Yahweh your God's eyes are always on it from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year, thirteen it shall happen, if you shall listen diligently to my commandments which I command you today, to love Yahweh your God, and to serve him with all your heart, and with all your soul, eighteen therefore you shall lay up these my words in your heart, and in your soul, you shall bind them, for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. Deuteronomy 12, 18 But you shall eat them before Yahweh your God in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, you, your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, and the Levite who is within your gates. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God in all that you put your hand to. 19 Be careful that you don't forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land. 26 Only your holy things which you have, and your vows, you shall take, and go to the place which Yahweh, shall choose, 30 be careful that you are not ensnared to follow them, after that they are destroyed from before you, and that you not inquire after their gods, saying, how do these nations serve their gods, I will do likewise, 31 you shall not do so to Yahweh your God, for every abomination to Yahweh, which he hates, they have done to their gods, for they even burn their sons, and their daughters in the fire to their gods, Deuteronomy 13, 4 you shall walk after Yahweh your God, fear him, keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and you shall serve him, and cling to him, six if your brother, the son of your father, or the son of your mother, or your son, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend, who is as your own soul, indices you secretly, saying, let's go and serve other gods, which you have not known, you, nor your fathers, ten you shall stone him to death with stones, because he has sought to draw you away from Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, eleven all Israel shall hear, and fear, and shall not do any more wickedness, like this among you, 15 You shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, with all that is therein and its livestock with the edge of the sword. 16 You shall gather all its plunder into the middle of its street, and shall burn with fire the city, and all of its plunder, to Yahweh your God. It shall be a heap forever, it shall not be built again. Deuteronomy 15 1 At the end of every seven years, you shall cancel debts. 2 This is the way it shall be done, every creditor shall release that which he has lent to his neighbor. He shall not require payment because Yahweh's release has been proclaimed three of a foreigner you may require it, but whatever of yours is with your brother, your hand shall release. For however there shall be no poor with you, for Yahweh will surely bless you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it. 15 You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh your God redeemed you. Therefore I command you this thing today. 16 It shall be, if he tells you, I will not go out from you, because he loves you and your house because he is well with you. 17 Then, you shall take an awl, and thrust it through his ear to the door, and he shall be your servant forever. Also to your female servant you shall do likewise. 18 It shall not seem hard to you, when you let him go free from you, for he has been double value of a hired hand as he served you six years. Yahweh your God will bless you in all that you do. 19 You shall dedicate all the firstborn males, that are born of your herd, and of your flock to Yahweh your God. You shall do no work with the firstborn of your herd, nor shear the firstborn of your flock. Deuteronomy 16. 2 You shall sacrifice the Passover to Yahweh your God, of the flock and the herd, in the place which Yahweh shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. 3 You shall eat no leavened bread with it. You shall eat an leavened bread with it, seven days, even the bread of affliction, for you came out of the land of Egypt in haste, that you may remember the day when you came out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life. 6 But at the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell in, there you shall sacrifice the Passover at evening at the going down of the sun, at the season that you came out of the land of Egypt, seven you shall roast and eat it in the place which Yahweh your God chooses, in the morning you shall return to your tents eight seven days, you shall eat and leaven bread, one, on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to Yahweh your God, you shall do no work on it, nine you shall count for yourselves seven weeks, from the time you begin to put the sickle to the standing grain, you shall begin to count seven weeks, ten you shall keep the feast of weeks, to Yahweh your God with the tribute of a free ill offering of your hand, which you shall give, according as Yahweh your God blesses you. Eleven you shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, you, your son, your daughter, 
your male servant, your female servant, the Levite who is within your gate's gate, the foreigner, and the fatherless, and the widow, who are among you, in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, twenty you shall follow that, which is altogether just, that you may live, and inherit the land which Yahweh your God gives you, twenty one you shall not plant for yourselves an asher of any kind of tree, beside Yahweh your God's altar, which you shall make for yourselves, twenty two neither shall you set yourself up a sacred stone, which Yahweh your God hates, Deuteronomy 17, one you shall not sacrifice to Yahweh your God an ox, or a sheep, in which is a defect, or anything evil, for that is an abomination to Yahweh your God too if there is found among you, within any of your gates which Yahweh your God gives you, a man or woman who does that, which is evil in Yahweh your God's sight, in transgressing his covenant, three and has gone and served other gods, and worshipped them, or the sun, or the moon, or any of the stars of the sky, which I have not commanded, for and you are told, and you have heard of it, then you shall inquire diligently, behold, if it is true, and the thing certain, that such abomination is done in Israel. 5 Then you shall bring out that man or that woman, who has done this evil thing, to your gates, even that same man or woman, and you shall stone them to death with stones. 7 The hand of the witnesses shall be first on him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. So you shall remove the evil from among you. 15 You shall surely set him king over yourselves, whom Yahweh your God chooses. You shall set as king over you one from among your brothers. You may not put a foreigner over you. Who is not your brother sixteen only he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to our return to Egypt, to the end that he may multiply horses, because Yahweh has said to you, You shall not go back that way again. Seventeen he shall not multiply wives to himself, that his heart not turn away, he shall not greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. Eighteen it shall be, when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write himself a copy of this law in a book. Out of that which is before the priests the Levites nineteen it shall be with him, and he shall read from it all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear Yahweh his God, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes to do them. Twenty that his heart not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he not turn away from the commandment to the right hand, or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children, in the middle of Israel. Deuteronomy 18 1 the priests the Levites, all the tribe of Levi, shall have no portion nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of Yahweh, made by fire in his portion. Deuteronomy 26, 19 He will make you high above all nations that he has made, in praise honor, in name, and in honor praise, and that you may be a holy people to Yahweh your God, as he has spoken to you. Deuteronomy 27, 1 Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all his commandment which I command you today. To it shall be on the day when you shall pass over the Jordan to the land which Yahweh your God gives you, that you shall set yourself up great stones, and coat them, with plaster. 24. Cursed is he who secretly kills his neighbor. All the people shall say, Amen. 25. Cursed is he who takes a bribe to kill an innocent person. All the people shall say, Amen. 26. Cursed is he who doesn't uphold the words of this law by doing them. All the people shall say, Amen. Deuteronomy 28. 1. It shall happen, if you shall listen diligently to Yahweh your God's voice, to do all his commandments which I command you today, that Yahweh your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth too all these blessings will come upon you, and overtake you. If you listen to Yahweh your God's voice 3, you shall be blessed in the city, and you shall be blessed in the field. 4. You shall be blessed in the fruit of your body, the fruit of your ground, the fruit of your animals, the increase of your livestock, and the young of your flock 5. Your basket, and your kneading trough shall be blessed 6. You shall be blessed when you come in, and you shall be blessed when you go out. 7. Yahweh will cause your enemies, who rise up against you to be struck before you. They will come out against you, one way, and will flee before you. 7. Ways 8. Yahweh will command the blessing on you in your barns, and in all that you put your hand to. He will bless you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. 9. Yahweh will establish you for a holy people to himself, as he has sworn to you, if you shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God and walk in his ways. 10. All the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by Yahweh's name, and they will be afraid of you. 11. Yahweh will grant you abundant prosperity, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground. In the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give you 12. Yahweh will open to you his good treasure in the sky, to give the rain of your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You will lend to many nations, and you will not borrow. 13. Yahweh will make you the head, and not the tail. You will be above only, and you will not be beneath. If you listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I command you today, to observe and to do, 18 the fruit of your body, the fruit of your ground, the increase of your livestock, and the young of your flock will be cursed, 20 Yahweh, will send on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke, 
in all that you put your hand to do, until you are destroyed, and until you perish quickly, because of the evil of your doings, by which you have forsaken me, 22 Yahweh, will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with fiery heat, with the sword, with blight, and with mildew, they will pursue you until you perish, 23 Your sky that is over your head will be bronze, and the earth that is under you will be iron, 24 Yahweh, will make the rain of your land powder and dust, it will come down on you from the sky, until you are destroyed, 25 Yahweh, will cause you to be struck before your enemies, you will go out one way against them, and will flee seven ways before them, you will be tossed back and forth among all the kingdoms of the earth, 29, you will grope at noonday, as the blind gropes in darkness, and you shall not prosper in your ways, you will only be oppressed and robbed always, and there will be no one to save you, 30 you will betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her, you will build a house, and you won't dwell in it, you will plant a vineyard, and not use its fruit, 48 therefore you will serve your enemies, whom Yahweh sends against you, in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in lack of all things, he will put an iron yoke on your neck, until he has destroyed you, 49 Yahweh, will bring a nation against you from far, from the end of the earth, as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you will not understand, 50 a nation of fierce facial expressions, that doesn't respect the elderly, nor show favor to the young, 61, also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, Yahweh will bring them on you, until you are destroyed, Deuteronomy 29, 18 lest there should be among you man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Yahweh or God, to go to serve the gods of those nations, lest there should be among you, a root that produces bitter poison, 19 and it happen, when he hears the words of this curse, that he bless himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart, to destroy the moist with the dry, 20 Yahweh, will not pardon him, but then Yahweh's anger and his jealousy will smoke against that man, and all the curse that is written in this book will cling to him, and Yahweh will blot out, his name from under the sky. Deuteronomy 31, 16 Yahweh said to Moses, Behold, you shall sleep with your fathers. This people will rise up, and play the prostitute after the strange gods of the land, where they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. 17 Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake you, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall come on them, so that they will say in that day, haven't these evils come on us, because Yahweh our God is not among us? 18 I will surely hide my face from him, in that day for all the evil which they have done, in that they have turned to other gods. 19 Now therefore write the words of this song for yourselves, and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me, against the children of Israel. Deuteronomy 32 3 4 I will proclaim Yahweh's name, ascribe greatness to our God. 1 The word order in the scroll is reversed from the mount.